All right, guys, so I have went ahead and started with one bag of our oyster crackers, and you're just gonna spread those out nice and even on your baking sheet. Don't wanna have any holes, so now what we're gonna do, now that that's all laid out, is pop on over to the stove. All right, so we're gonna plop one stick of butter into our nicely heated pan. And as you can see, that butter is already starting to melt and that's exactly what we're looking for, guys. So now that we've got that butter already on its way, we're gonna come in with a little less than one cup of brown sugar and you're just gonna plop that right into the pan with the butter. Oh yeah. And we're just gonna let this get nice and melted together. It's gonna create a beautiful consistency. It's gonna be much like caramel. So as you can see, that's already starting to shape up very nicely. And we're just gonna let this simmer down a little bit more. This is heated up beautifully. And so now what we're gonna do is pop back over to those oyster crackers and get this on them. Guys, so now it's time to pour this beautiful caramel right on top of those oyster crackers. And we're just gonna smear it straight on top, just like that, guys. And really try and get those all nice and coated. Oh yeah, this is looking so good. And you're just gonna scrape out any remainder. Out. We're gonna come in with some already melted chocolate. I'm going with pink because tis the season for love and all things pink. And you're just gonna start sprinkling this right on top, guys. And you're just gonna get it all coated. So pretty. Just keep getting it. We're gonna use the entire jar here and it's okay if it doesn't come out just perfect. It can come out in globs. What I'm gonna do is just take our spatula here and really just marinate it all together, guys. You're gonna have a nice caramel chocolatey mess here, but it is gonna be so good and so worth it. So really make sure everything has a nice coating on it and just make it all spread back out. Okay, so that's all even and to my liking. So now what I'm gonna do is bring in some sprinkles. This is optional for those of you who are not sprinkle fans, but we're just gonna start by sprinkling it right on top of all that yummy goodness, guys, and it's gonna be so good. All right, so. Everything is ready to go. We're gonna pop it in the freezer for about 20 minutes. Just enough for that caramel to harden as well as the chocolate. So it's nice and chilled, everything is hardened. So my favorite way and easiest way to do this is just to flip it. Guys, you are going to love this. <gasps> let me see, let me see. Oh my gosh, oh, oh, look at that. so yummy. So now what we're gonna do is just bring our bowl in and just start scooping it right up. <gasps> look at that. Yum. Forget peanuts at your next seating area. Definitely put this and you'll have your friends dying to stay at your house. Oh yeah. This is gonna be the perfect little snack to have laying out for your partner, your friends, mm. whoever. But this looks fantastic, guys. So it's good. So perfect for Valentine's Day. I am ready for a little treat myself. Mmm.